Good morning, my students, and welcome to your English class. Now, today, my children, we are going to continue with vocabulary that may or may already know, or we have new words, okay? So, we are going to see, and if you remember them, there is no problem. It's important that we practice it. So, let's start. The first, remember that all of the words that appear here on the whiteboard are in ordinal numbers, okay? Let's start with the first word. Now, the first word, it says girl. Now, don't forget that we are sometimes either boys or girls. In the, in the case of the teacher, I am a boy. In the case of the misses, those are girls, okay? For example, if a person is Carlos, He's a boy, but if a person is Stephanie, she's a girl, okay? Now, most of the girls, most of the students of pre-primary or kinder three are girls, okay? Very good. Let's continue with the second word that says gate. Now, gate is similar to a door. We have an example of a door here, but it's bigger. If a door, for example, is like this size, the gate is bigger. So it's basically a big door. That's a gate, okay? Let's continue with the third, the third word. The third word, it says garden. Now, what is a garden? Now, garden is the place that is covered with grass, pasto, it's all covered with grass and has a lot of flowers, okay? These are flowers and under the flowers we have the grass, okay? That is a garden. Let's continue with the fourth word, vase. Now, vase is a medium-sized object where you can put flowers, okay? That's the vase, an object where you can put several flowers, like the example that is right here. Let's continue with the fifth word. Now, flower, the word is flower. Now, what is flower? It's basically a plant. We have it right here. Now, don't forget that in the case of the teacher, I painted with color white and yellow, but there are a lot, there are several types of flowers with different colors, okay? Let's continue with the sixth word. The word that appears here are fruits, okay? Now, don't forget that fruit is a food that we can eat. Now, here on the, on the example, we have several fruits like an apple, bananas, grapes. Remember that the, the, last, the class of yesterday, we also saw the fruits that are grapes. Now, don't forget that grapes have two colors. The class of yesterday, I painted with purple. In this occasion, I use color gray because we also can find grapes with this color. And we have an orange. All of these are groups of fruits. Now, before we continue with more words, let's review the ones that we have here on the whiteboard. Please repeat after me. Girl. One more time. Girl, gate, don't forget that a gate is a big door, garden, one more time, garden, vase, vase, flower, and the last one, fruit, okay, very good. Now, we also have several words, but in this case, I am going to make like a, a, a dynamic. I'm going to make a game in which you have to guess the word. Van a tener que adivinar la palabra. Okay? The first word, these are jeans. Now, jeans is a cloth that we use. We wear jeans. In the case of the teacher, I sometimes wear jeans color blue, okay? So, to give you an idea, these are jeans, okay? Jeans appear on our legs. Pantalones, okay? Very good. The second word is 
job. Now, what is job? For example, if I tell you fireman, policeman, bombero, policía, a doctor, a nurse, una, enfer una enfermera, okay? Those are jobs. Esos son trabajos. Now, this is a new word, so it's important to repeat after me. Jobs. Okay, trabajos, okay? Now, the second, the third word, sorry, it is called a uh, jet. Now, jets are like airplanes, but they are small and they are used in the army, okay? For example, the size of an airplane is this big. Jets are like this, they are smaller, but they are faster, okay? Now, you can do jets if you put your hands like this. We leave the thumb and the little finger in this position. These three remain fingers, we close them and we make a jet, okay? Now, jets appear in the army, son usados en los ejércitos, okay? Very good. Now, let's make sentences with those words, okay? If I say I, yo, I have, now the word have means tener, okay? I have blue jeans. Yo tengo pantalones azules, okay? Let's continue with sentence number two. My father has, have or has, it's the same word, means tener. My father has a good job. Again, one more time. My father has a good job. Mi papá tiene un buen trabajo. Don't forget job, policeman, fireman, doctor, nurse. Those are jobs. And the last sentence of the day, it is a big jar. Now, I forgot to mention it. Jar and vase are very, very similar. Don't forget that a vase it's where you put the flowers. And a jar, it's the same where you put the flowers, okay? It is a big jar. Es un jarrón grande, okay? Very good. So that's it for today, my children. Don't forget to practice these new words, these new sentences at home, and don't forget to do the activities. I want the teacher one jobs or activities well made, works well made, and we see you tomorrow. Don't forget to study for the exam, which is on Friday, and that's it for today. Goodbye.